I'm Carrie Al, and I've been directing a, an excavation of a shelving on Curran Point in Echo Island for the last about six weeks. We just opened up a small trench, uh, one meter by three and a half meters, and we chose this location specifically because we actually have the men eroding out of the cliff face, so you can see the stratigraphy for 27 meters actually. And this seemed to be the most concentrated area of the midden, except for right in front of the house that's to my left at the moment. And there's also two features evident on the midden face right in front of where we put the trench. So we had at the most four people working on this particular trench throughout the time. And how we did it was we actually excavated by spits because uh, stratigraphic excavation, which all archaeologists strive for. It's very difficult to uh, effectively use on a midden site. And I put each person in a one meter by one meter area and had them take it down by approximately four to five centimeters every time. And then we recorded and moved on. And through this process, we found that the midden actually does a very strange dip right in the middle of where we put our trench. So we have it extremely high to the north, which is facing the Atlantic, and then it drops and comes back up again towards the south of our trench. While excavating, we found a piece of green glass and a broken pipe stem. And my personal favorite is a glass bead. It's clear and ribbed on the sides. And these are relatively diagnostic artifacts, so we're getting approximately the same time period as the houses with these artifacts. We also obviously found a lot of shells, as it is a shell bin, with pockets of limpets and uh, also whole mussel shells, which is quite rare. They tend to break pretty easily. We've also found quite a lot of bone, some very large from things like cattle, but also some very small ones from things like mice. So the interpretation is going to be a little more difficult on the mice aspect. Most likely it's intrusive. But a lot of this also has butchery marks. So we're thinking they were eating these and then discarding them in the bin along with their shellfish. We also have evidence of possible hearth cleanouts. So a lot of hearth stones piled on top of each other with charcoal spreads around them. And so it seems that they may have had a hearth elsewhere and then dumped it into the same area. And so far that's our field observations and we'll, we're doing a lot of lab work to try to get the nuances in for that.